So here it is, guys. Um, I've been gone for a while, but uh, I was trying to get the house ready, you know, cleared up so that I could uh, put it up for sale and uh, finally got an offer so I won't have to deal with that anymore. So hopefully I'll get a little bit of a chance to work on these guys now. Um, I've been kind of holding back on this video because I um, want everybody to be ready for when it came out. Um, as you can see right here, I'm using a new motor. This is a new outrunner motor. It's, uh, it's a 2204 size and um, it's 1400 kV motor. This is actually a motor that is being developed by Furitech and they're actually making this motor specifically for us guys with the SCX24 uh, platform and to match it to their ESCs. So it is a uh, slightly bigger I guess you could say and heavier than what the Surpass is but only because it has a bigger bell as in longer so that it can fit bigger magnets in there so this motor as opposed to the Surpass is actually rated at 180 watts and that's uh, with 4S power uh, the Surpass is only 160 and that's with 3S so this motor will be able to take a lot more abuse than what the Surpass is and um, <clears throat> the 180 watts is just way more than what anybody's gonna need so it's a really really good motor so I wanted to show how strong it was with the pulling at a slow speed but with these tires and the weight of this cage which you know you guys that are using this cage know that it barely weighs anything and uh, even with the brass everything that I have on this it's not heavy enough to pull my 12 pound um, steel ball yeah that's 12 pounds right there let me see where uh, there you go 12 pounds on a sled so there's no bearings or nothing on wheels under this this is strictly on the floor it's gonna drag on the floor so I wanted to show how I could do that so what I did was I printed these wheels that actually have an attachment for this uh, line which is a fishing line it's rated for 25 pounds so it should be plenty for what we're trying to do and um, just wanted to show how strong that motor is while going super slow and by eliminating what would be the tire slippage you could actually see the motor under pressure actually pulling the vehicle um, I know a lot of people are going to complain about the, the actual circumference of the pulley but I have overdrive um, gears up in the front which means that uh, these spin faster than these so I had to make that smaller to kind of compensate for that plus I made it a tad bit smaller to accommodate for what the drag of this tire would be if they were going the same speed so it was pretty much the, the motor would have had to drag not only the 12 pounds but also the vehicle because of the drag of the tire so right now this tire should go slightly faster than what the uh, actual pulling motion will be on this. These wheels will obviously not grip anything at all. It's just going to use the pulley to pull the wire. So I know it's kind of weird, but it's the only way that I could think of that I could show the actual strength of this motor while just, you know, going super, super slow and uh, completely eliminating what the traction problem would be. So, you know, of course I have Whole bunch of heavy water over there so let me see if I can do like a real slow pull on this one now watch me mess it up now let's see as you can see it's starting to turn those wheels back wheels are barely even moving so here's where you see that slow speed control of this motor with this ESC. You gotta realize that these guys actually built this motor to work with this um, ESC. So it's like from the grounds up specifically for this ESC. And 
yes, it's still moving. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's moving. And the motor is not having any issue. If you could pay attention to the front, those front wheels are actually up in the air. But that motor, if you can see inside the cage right there in the middle where the firewall ends, the motor is spinning. No issues whatsoever. This is the slow speed control that you're gonna get with that Fury Tech and this motor combination. Um, I love the Surpass, but because of the stronger magnets on this motor and the higher, you know, rating, I I think we're gonna have to swap out to this one if if you're really trying to get the strongest motor out there. Um, Obviously, if you've been paying attention to the video, you can see that it is very slowly bringing that weight up. Now, can we pull it faster? Of course we can. You know, if we kind of go like this, it's going to pull it forward. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the real slow, slow, slow speed. Because, as uh, so you can see that front wheel, how slow it's going, that's with the overdrive. So, if you had the stock... Um, axle gearing it will go even slower so as you can see you know the motor let me see if I can point it that's the motor right there extremely slow all the control in the world that you could use oh I think I just skipped a little bit on that front wheel but um <clears throat> you're not gonna need any more power than this anywhere you know with a 124 scale so if you want the most powerful outrunner motor out there right now for the SEX24 you're gonna want to go with Fury Tech and this motor combination uh, I'm running this at 2S you can see how slow it is you can see how powerful it is like I said that is twen uh, 12 pounds on a sled on the floor that's literally dragging it on the floor and now I took it out of focus that was real dumb well, let's see if we can get a little bit closer here if I could somehow get up. You can see that motor is still spinning. No issues whatsoever. Front wheel is pulling. You can see that line being pulled into the actual pulley system there. Just kind of see how it's filling up the inside. And then we got the sled. Look at the print on the floor so you can see the movement. See how it's moving very, very slowly? It's 12 pounds. So yeah, I'm not one to put the most ridiculous amount of power on these. Because honestly, I don't think I need it. But for you guys that want the most power possible, this is the motor you want. And uh, as you can see that that bell is actually covered so there's going to be less of an issue with the dirt and rocks and everything getting inside of the motor so it's a really good design and they have other colors now that are going to be coming out so just kind of keep checking out their their website so you can see the new additions to what they're offering let's go a little faster Oops. Sorry, but anyways, <laughs> let's try to back that out. Alright, so, I'll bring it back a little bit. Get that out of the way. Alright, so if everything's lined up, let's do a quick pull. Hopefully I don't break anything. Because like I said, it's a lot of power. Alright, so we take off. So it's just pretty much, it's got the power to turn your vehicle into a winch. So, plenty of power, no need for anything else, and uh, yeah, it's a ridiculous motor. Anyways, I'll try to put some updated stuff, maybe on the comments or the description of the video, but I'm just going to post this as it is right now, so you guys can see the amount of power that this guy brings. And then, you know, I'll kind of fill in and try to make it to where it's doable. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.